Assalamu alaikum. Good morning, students. How are you all? Hope you all are fine. And I am also expecting that you have completed all those topics which we done in the last lecture. Today is our second lecture of maths of class one. And let's start our lesson. Look at the book, page number seven. Here is the concept of ones. We start. in our next topic concept of ones do you know what is ones and tens yeah. okay students look at the board here are some some numbers i write on the board look at the board count with me read with me 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 Six, seven, eight, nine. How many these numbers are? Zero to nine. These are single numbers. No one number are on their left or right side. So these are called ones. What we call it? Ones. These number, these digits, we call ones. These are ones. Okay, student. Look at my book. Here is the concept of ones. Here are two lines. One line is blue line and other one is orange line. Okay? The orange one line is ones uh, ones line and the second one blue is tens. The tens are empty. All lines are empty. But look at the orange. First line is empty. And written here, there is no bead on one straw. There is zero beads. It means there is nothing. The number is zero. Same like that, we come down and check the line. Here are one bead. We put in on this uh, line. So we get one bead. Now, yes, student, look at the third one. Here we add one more bead to one straw. So we get two beads. See the next line. We add one more bead to the one straw, and we get three beads. Next, we add one more bead in the next line, and we get four beads. You also count here, like one, two, three, four. Here are four beads. Same like that. In the next one, we add one more bead, and we get five beads. And same like that. that we have done before we add one more bead on the rod and we get six beads same at last we add nine beads on the rod okay and these are a single numbers zero first rod is the empty is a zero and last one is nine so zero to nine we add beads and they give us a single answer like 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so these are all called ones okay students look at the board i will uh, clear uh, that what is the ones and what is different between the tens here we write ones okay as i told you before that zero to 9 these numbers are singles and we said that it's one okay when we add 9 plus 1 when we add one number more in 9 it becomes 10 look at the board tens here i write one and in ones it's a zero simply it's 1 0 10 now what it shows that 1 0 10 we write or combine like this it mean there is a two numbers two numbers are here two when we combine two digits is become a number then its number we call tens okay so students ones means a single numbers that is from 0 to 9 it always we call ones and when uh, from these number we make two uh, further numbers that because that come in two numbers form it calls tens like 10 11 12 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 
and so on. These are two numbers and uh, and two numbers we call tens. Okay, student. I will explain the ones and tens according to the pictures. So make it clear to you. Okay, student. Look at the look at my book. It's page number eight. First, this strip has ten bunties. How many bunties? Ten bunties. And what is the meaning of ten bunties? We have two numbers: one, zero, ten. So it we write in tens. Okay. And this is one bunty. One means a single number, and it's called ones. Same like that. Here are some more example. These are tens example. and these line line is for ones example okay students here are some chocolates of 10 pieces okay like let's we count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 how many these slabs are 10 so look at the other one here are two numbers and look at the other side these are three three single chocolates so these are ones example and these are tens example now move on next page is a place value here we have two boxes how many boxes we have two boxes one is in color blue and other one is in orange color okay students here write tens box and here write the name of ones box it means that in blue box the uh, the object which have a quantity of 10 we put in this box and which are the single numbers we put in ones box okay students let's count first the first here is the example of chocolate okay count these slabs of chocolates how many these are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 how many these are 10 so we put in orange box no that one is a ones box and we put there a single number like 0 1 2 which have a single so we put that number here and which have a amount 10 or more than we put here okay so this lab we put in tens box and there is a dotted line also mentioned here you just overwrite over draw it okay students and here is a three a uh, four single chocolates 1 2 3 4 it's a single so we put in ones box similar let's count crayons here are crayons let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 yes how many crayons are here it's 10 so we put a scale here and uh, we join to this crayons to this blue box okay student i will show you how to join okay student look at the board i give you another example how to join the objects and put in the box Okay, you first take a scale. These are ten crayons, and this is a box of ten. So we draw a straight line. We draw a straight line. Have you seen it? So don't like a curved line or other type of a line that make this page dirty. Okay, and here are crayons, and where are other crayons? Yes, here are other crayons. So student, let's count how many crayons are here. One, two, two colors are here. And where we put in tens box? No, these two. This is the number of two. It's a single number. So we put in ones box. So put the scale like this and join the line. These two lines are straight. Same like this. You have done other page. at home by the help of your parents okay student move on page number 11 
here is a statement remember that um, first you check that there is a two lines again you have seen on the book one is in color orange and next uh, left side line is in blue and i i also told you that it's me uh, right, right side means it's a ones and the left side line means it's a tens okay so only uh, they said that only nine beads can fit on the ones rod okay student here is a nine uh, beads we put on the ones rod zero to nine i all, uh, already told you that uh, single numbers are called <coughs> Once, okay. When we put one more bead on once, uh, so it not managed. After that, what we do? We do like this, okay. Uh, we put one bead here. The one blue bead means it has amount of ten. How is it become ten? If we try to add one more bead, it will not fit on the one rod. Take off all the nine beads from the ones rod and add one more and exchange this set to the one blue bead. So we uh, shift it. We exchange this one beads to the blue one. And here is a one. And I also told you when there is a nothing on orange bead, it means that there is there is a value of zero. Here is one bead. Here is nothing, but zero is there. So one zero. Ten. It shows that it's a ten. One bead mean or one bead on tens mean it's a ten. Same like that. Here is an other example. These orange lines are skipped. There is nothing on it. So here is the value of zero. Means one means zero. And look at the blue rod. Here are two beads we put on this rod. One two. When we put one rod like this, it's mean ten. So here we put two rods. Two rods mean twenty. Two zero twenty. Two ah uh, beads are here. So in tens we write two, and in ones we zero. Why? Because here is nothing to write. Okay. And in the next line we put three beads. One two three. Three means thirty. Is it because there is nothing, so there is a zero. Three. We write three in tens place and ones zero. One, two, three, four. Here are four beads and there is nothing on here, so we write four zero forty. What is the meaning of two two tens and zero ones? It means two sets of tens are here. Look at here. Two sets of ten is equals to twenty. Three sets of three uh, three sets of tens means thirty. Four sets of tens means forty, and up to so on. Like uh, five sets of tens means fifty. So, are you have you clear it? Okay, student. After this, we move on next page to clear this concept more. Okay, student. Now we move on page number twelve. Write the numbers shown on each abacus. Okay, students. I give you some examples of page number twelve on board. Look at the board. Here I write tens and here I write ones. There are two rod and on one rod I put one beat. I put one b, and on tens there is no b. Then how we write? First we write ones. How many numbers are here? One. We write one here, and is there any number? No. There is empty. So what is the value? Zero. So tens me uh, in tens there if there is nothing then we write zero. After that in next column we write. Its number name O N E one. Same. Move on next box. Here I put two beads. How many beads? Two beads. 
so in ones we count from ones and same we write in one side number 2 and in tens there is no number here so we write zero and what is this what is the number of 2 t w o 2 okay move on next box is a last example here i put three beads 1 2 3 how many beads i put here here i put three beads and there is same no number on tens value so we put here zero and in next in front of three box we write the number name t h r double e 3 so students the examples i give you on the board same you do on page number 12 okay same beads are here and we write the counting the dotted lines the dot the dots are here you just overwrite it and also learn the square numbers name okay you have done this one page on your book by yourself and i just give you a simple example of page number 13 Here there is a on ones and on tens both have beads and what is the meaning of the both side beads? It means that ones me uh, on uh, one bead we write here and the other one we also write there. Okay, one one. What is number we get? One one eleven and we write the number name here. Okay, if we have one bead on tens and the two beads on ones. What is the what is this mean? It mean one and two, twelve. Same you have done this page, and also page number fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. These pages you have done at your home. The procedure is same, and you also learn the spelling of counting and numbers. O N E one two. F I F F T Y T fifty one two fifty. As I write your homework on the board, do practice of book page number eight, nine, twelve to sixteen. Twelve to sixteen, you write the counting O N E one two fifty. Okay, and the two pages I write here. Okay, some pages I skipped. That was the concept, so I didn't write. And learn table of two again. Okay, student. Okay have a nice day and stay at home and stay safe thank you